I have to warn you, I've not fed my cats yet. So they might come and try and like beat me up mid, mid session. We'll see how we go. Let's um, start sitting, sitting upright on the yoga mat. And if you want to sit on a block, feel free to do that or a, or a cushion. Just being in whatever your comfortable seated position is. And then close your eyes or soften your gaze. And bring your awareness to your breath. Easing into a deep inhale. Easing into a long exhale. Making each inhale a little deeper. Each exhale a little longer. Focusing on that as a breath exercise for the next, next few breaths, deepening each inhale, lengthening each exhale. If your attention wanders, coming back to that focus, deepening each inhale, lengthening each exhale. Subtly lengthening your breath, slowing your breath. Staying present to each breath. Because one of the things that you get with yoga practice over time is the ability to choose how you're breathing the ability to to regulate your breath um, and often we're working towards slowing and deepening the breath because it's a way of then uh, regulating the rest of your nervous system like whatever stresses or strains one's under whether that's long-term stresses or immediate stresses being able to consciously switch into breathing a bit deeper and slower is very powerful. And we live in a world that's very busy and everything around us is, you know, there's notifications popping up and grandchildren to pick up and things to do, many, many things to do. And it's really good to slow down because that's not something we're often encouraged to do. So slowing down your breath and just slowing down your whole nervous system and your whole perception is a very interesting thing to play with. So let's take that as an intention for today. There's an attitude of slowing down in the breath and then slowing down in everything else as well. Come onto your hands and knees to do some hip tilts, or you could do this on the on your forearms if you if you prefer that. If that would be better on your wrists, you could do that this, like this. Focusing just uh, around your hips and the base of your spine, doing some really simple tilts. So inhale, 
let your lower belly totally relax and drop down. As you do that, your tailbone will tilt up. Then as you, as you exhale, a long, slow exhale, pull your belly in and upwards. And as you do that, your tailbone will tilt downwards. So inhale, letting your belly soften and drop down. Deep inhale all the way to your belly. Long, slow exhale. Gathering your belly in and up, tailbone will point downwards. So continue with this, focusing just at the base of your spine. Deepening each inhale, lengthening each ex exhale. Slowing down. Then do more of a cat-cow movement, still with this deep, slow breath. So on the inhale, your tailbone tilts up, belly relaxes down, chin lifts just a little. Move your shoulder blades away from your head. Or with your deep exhale, with your long exhale, tilt your tailbone down, gather your belly in, push your mid back up, and let your head and neck relax forwards. So deep inhale, arching your spine. Long exhale, rounding your spine. Pay particular attention to the back of your ribcage, back of your shoulders. Finding movement and connection there. Slowing down so you have space, space to feel the gnarly places. And to do your breathing and your poses in a way that helps those to unwind. And then come into child's pose, taking your hips towards your heels. If the version with your arms resting next to your legs feels good, give that a go. Maybe supporting your head on a block or a cushion. If that doesn't feel good, then you could do a version with your arms forward or even be on your back, hugging your knees to your chest, particularly if your knees feel sore. Doing an on the back version of child's pose might feel better. Deepening each inhale. Lengthening each exhale. Letting your shoulders and arms totally relax here.
Next time you inhale deeply, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and let that deep inhale help you to lift up. Exhale and make your way into a sitting position. Uh, into, let's do a, a shoelace or modified shoelace. So with shoelace, you take your left foot on top of your right knee, both feet flexed. If that does not feel okay for your knees and hips, instead put a cushion or a block in front of your right knee and place your left foot on the cushion or block. Or you could just be in a regular cross-legged position. Okay, great. Let's try a movement with the shoulders. So I want you to imagine your arms are rolling pins. Uh, I'll show this from the side, actually. So um, I want you to inhale and internally rotate your arms so they're rolling inwards. Feel the contraction as you rotate your arms inwards. Then exhale very slowly, release your arms so they come back to like whatever the normal rotation they're in. So then we'll do that come time. Inhale, internally rotate so everything is rolling inwards in your arms. Yeah. Exhale, very slowly release back to where your arms naturally hang. Grant. So do that a couple more times really slowly. Contracting. And slowly releasing. Feel for sitting, sitting straight here. You're not pushing your chest forwards or backwards, just, just getting a movement in the arms. Great. Let's do a slightly different thing now. Uh, inhale and scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears, sort of contracting so the shoulders lift up. Exhale and very, very slowly, let your shoulders drop back down. How slowly can you release out of that? So on inhale, you're contracting, lifting your shoulders up, a deep inhale. Exhale, very slow, long exhale as you release. Letting go around the shoulders, letting go, letting go. Great. Do that again. Letting go of tension with your exhale. And then after that round, let's change, change your legs over. So now you've got your right foot on top of the left knee or right foot is in front of the knee on a cushion or a block. Great, let's do the rolling pin thing again with the arms. So inhale, internally rotate your arms. Your shoulders might come forward a bit, but you're basically staying straight. Notice the contraction that happens to, so that's possible. Exhale, very, very slow, 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 release back to normal. So working with that now. Say three more times really slowly. Being really mindful as you release out of it, making the release really slow. With your slow, long exhale. Not pushing your shoulders up as you do this, you're just rotating inwards. After that round, just pause a moment, noticing your shoulders in a neutral position.
as you inhale deeply, wash your breath all around that area. Long exhale, continuing to soften, to relax, to let go. Second, we'll do some of those simple shrugs. Inhale, scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears without pushing your head forwards. Slow exhale, releasing, 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 letting go, letting go, letting go of tension. Great. Three more of those super slowly. Keeping your arms relaxed, not doing this with your arm muscles. It's actually... Uh, yeah, not muscles in the arm, it's more muscles on top of the shoulder, around the shoulder joint that are contracting and releasing. After that round, uncross your legs. Give them a bit of a wobble. And then come onto your back and we'll do some more um, somatic type movements. So lying on your back with your knees bent, back of your head on the floor. Let's do a few rounds of cat exercise one first. So focus on your lower back. Inhale and, and increase the space between your lower back and the floor. Feel for contraction in your lower back. Exhale, very slowly release and relax your lower back. Feeling how your lower back drops slightly as you do that. Do three more. Just focusing on your lower back. Noticing how this feels with your deep inhales and long exhales. Pausing after that round. Settling into stillness. Yet moved by the, the subtle, the subtlety of your breath. Cat exercise four, take your hand behind your head. Rest your head in your hand. Uh, let's do this with the left hand behind the head. Right hand stays resting on the floor. Inhale and increase the curve of your lower back as, as you just did. Hips and shoulders stay on the floor, but noticing the contraction along your back muscles. Exhale, very slowly release your back muscles. Lift your head up off the floor. And also lift your right foot up, the opposite foot, so your left elbow can move towards your right knee. Inhale, uh, yeah, inhale and very slowly bring your foot, bring your head down to the floor. Slowly, slowly releasing, coming down. Uh, exhaling, letting go, not holding on to anything. Great, stay with the same side. 
Inhale, arch lower back. Exhale, release lower back, lift right foot, head, elbow moving towards right knee. Inhale, slowly returning down. Exhale, letting go. Two more full rounds on that side, going super slowly. Breathing as deeply as you can with your inhale. And then after that round, switch sides, take your right hand behind your head and do four rounds on the other side. Notice the places that you're contracting and then feel for releasing after each contraction. Releasing, letting go. Letting go of tension. Letting go of stress. Moving super mindfully. Playing with the edge of your deep breath. After that round, finish. Rest your hands somewhere comfortable. Just noticing your breath, your body. Making your next inhale the deepest you breathe so far. And the, your exhale the longest so far. Noticing as you breathe deeply, as you lengthen your breath, what the effects inside of that are. Whether that helps you to slow down or whether that helps you to feel more. Making space for whatever your feelings are today.
had exercise five, stretch your arms out to the side of you. Hopefully you've got space for them on the floor. And then getting into this with an arm movement first, inhale with your head in the middle. And then exhale, turn your head to the left, turn your left palm up and turn your right palm down. Inhale, head comes back to the middle. Exhale, turn your head to the right, turn your right palm out, turn your left palm down. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale, looking left, looking to an upturned palm. Your hand you can't see is, is turned down. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the other side. And the next time you turn your head to the left, take your knees to the right just a little bit. And then everything comes back to the middle. And then as your head looks to the right, your knees go to the left. Everything back to the middle. Keep going with this. Noticing your hips, noticing your shoulders. Connecting this movement with your deep breath, your long breath. Doing a couple more to either side. Feeling, noticing what it feels like to twist. What, what type of sensation do you get from twisting? And then come into being still. So with your knees in the middle, rest your hands somewhere comfortable. Noticing the sensation of, of not moving. Then roll onto your left-hand side. And either have your left arm underneath your head or have a pillow underneath your head, whatever feels most comfortable. And then bend your knees, bring your knees up. So you've got a right angle at your hips and a right angle at your knees. Okay, great. And then wrap your top arm around your head. And the first movement, you're lifting your head up and you're keeping your knees together, but lifting the right foot up. So let's do that on an inhale. So an inhale, you're contracting the right hand side of your waist, lifting your head and keeping your knees together, but lifting your right foot up. 
Exhale and your foot comes down, your head comes down, releasing slowly. Do three more on that side. Contracting and then releasing. Every exhale, every release, being an opportunity to let go of tension. Wherever you might feel that. After that round, rest your right hand somewhere comfortable. And we'll do the opposite type of movement, but just with the legs. So keeping your feet together, inhale and lift your right knee up away from the left knee. Keep your right hip on top of the left. Don't let it roll back. Exhale, right knee releases down. So inhale, right knee lifts up. Notice, notice the parts of the outside of the leg that are contracting to make that happen. Exhale, very slowly release those parts, those muscles that are working as your knee comes down. There's two more. Deep inhales. Long exhales. And then switch over to your other side. Lying on your right hand side now. Bending your knees up in front. Left hand is wrapping around your head. So first, first one, your head is lifting, thighs staying together, but foot's lifting up. So inhale, lift your left foot up away from your right. Lift your head up away from the floor, contracting in your left side. Exhale, releasing slowly, whatever that contraction has been. Releasing out of that. Three more in that position. After that round, bring your left hand somewhere comfortable. And we'll just do the opposite movement with the legs. So, so keeping your feet together, inhale, lift your left foot up away from your right knee. Exhale, slowly releasing, releasing, releasing as that knee comes down. Three more of those. Not letting your left hip roll back. Keep your left hip static. It's just the leg that's moving. Even if it's not a big movement, that's totally fine. Feel for the quality of release as you're coming out of it. After that one, roll onto your back. Make a pause. Noticing any sensation, either in areas that you've consciously been working 
or other areas of your body that you're just noticing. Meeting all of this with your deep inhales and long exhales. Slowing down these moments in time. Next, we'll do um, this one where we're going to slide the leg in and out, both in both in uh, an external rotation where the toes are pointing out, and internal rotation where the toes are pointing in. If your mat is quite grippy, it might feel better to fold up your mat so your feet can slide along, so your feet can slide along um, carpet or floor instead. Okay. So start with both legs straight. And if any part of this doesn't feel okay right now, then I want you to just do the parts that feel okay or make the movement less so it doesn't feel, doesn't feel stressful. Or if the movement, any, any part of the movement doesn't feel okay at all, you could also visualize doing the movement. Just imagine doing the movement as a picture inside your head. Okay, let's focus on the right leg first. Uh, in, Internally rotate your right leg. So you're going pigeon toed in your right leg. Inhale, bend your right leg. So your heel comes towards your hip. Exhale, straighten out the right leg, releasing whatever that work has been. For some people with this inward rotation, we'll do it once more time. It feels better to let the foot go onto the left leg and then back down. Let's do one more in internal rotation on the right leg. Inhaling, drawing the leg in slowly. Slow exhale, moving your right leg away. Then externally rotate your right leg so your right toes are pointing out to the side. Keeping the whole leg in, exter in external rotation. Inhale, bring your foot towards your hip. It's not going to go all the way there. That's fine. Exhale, releasing and straightening out your right leg. So it is staying with external rotation on the right leg. Doing two more. Staying with the depth and slowness of your breath. Then just pause with both legs straight and notice if your right feels different to your left. And then let's let's do the same movements on the left. So Starting with internal rotation, internally rotate your left leg, keep it internally rotated. Inhale and bring your left heel towards your hip, whether your foot stays on the floor or it feels better to have your foot on the other leg. Exhale, slowly straighten out your left leg, keeping the leg in internal rotation. Two more slowly. 
left leg in internal rotation. Then take your whole leg into external rotation, your whole left leg. Three with your left leg in external rotation. Not forcing your leg to rotate more or go further. Just moving mindfully within the range of movement that's there. Now we're going to combine that both of that at the same time. So um, let's start with internal rotation. Internally rotate both legs. So the toes are pointing inwards. Inhale and then bring your feet towards your hips. Your knees, knees will stay together. So your feet will actually go slightly wider. Exhale, straighten your legs. And your legs come back to straight. Now take your feet in into external rotation. Inhale and bring both feet towards your hips, just however far feels comfortable. Exhale, slide both feet away. Do that one more time with both legs in internal rotation. So feet will, feet will go a bit wider when you do that. Exhale, legs straighten. And then externally rotate both feet. Inhale, draw both feet in. Exhale, move both feet away. And then let your legs come into a neutral position to rest for a moment or two. Then bend your knees and roll onto one side. Come onto your hands and knees next. Maybe uh, straighten out your mat if your mat got folded over. We'll do like a a, a sort of uh, like a I want to say like a half and half pigeon, but like a pigeon with uh, both legs bent. So if you slide your right knee forwards and then sit down on your right hip. Slide your right knee forward, sit down on your right hip, have your right leg bent and also your left leg bent. So your kind of right hip is down on the floor. Yeah. And then take your feet, either, sorry, <laughs> take your hands either side of your right knee and we'll kind of play with coming up and down a little bit. So let's do this where you're upright on your inhale. And then as you exhale, just ease your chest forward towards your right knee, not necessarily going all the way down, just going a little bit towards the floor. Just staying within what feels comfortable, then inhale, slowly lifting your torso back up. Moving out a couple more times, coming down on exhale. Lifting up on inhale. And then stay in, in this kind of forward pigeon position, maybe with your maybe with your forearms on the floor or your hands on the floor.
It's in a pigeon, like a pigeon, but with both knees bent, right knee forwards. Okay, inhale and lift your torso up. And then to change to the other side, one thing you could do once you're upright is just to, to swivel your knees over to the other side and then move your, uh, your right knee back a bit. And then rotate your chest towards your left knee, bring both hands either side of the left knee on the floor. So doing the other side now, inhale with your torso upright, Slow exhale, coming into a little bit of a forward bend over that knee. Lifting up a little on your inhale. Coming down a little on your exhale. Next time you exhale, kind of staying lower down in the forward bend. The deep inhales, long exhales. And then press your hands into the floor, lift up. And then make your way onto your back on the floor. Setting yourself up comfortably to do some relaxation. So however you want to be set up today, whether you want any cushions or blankets or extra props, just lying down, making yourself super comfortable. Stay for a moment or two with, with your deep inhales and long exhales. Slowing your breath down even more. So with staying in your exhales for a little longer, lengthening the last 10% of the 
of your exhale. Letting go even more in that last bit of the exhale. Staying very conscious right to the end of the exhale. Slowing it down and softening in that place. If you know it's helpful for you to keep a focus, stay really focused in your breath, particularly the end of the exhale and continue to continuing to extend your exhale. If less structured rest would feel better for you, then let go of the practice. Just giving yourself permission to rest. And either way, to continue slowing down, let's slow it down.
slowly and gently bring your awareness back to the surface. Noticing your body and how you feel in your body right now. Notice if your relationship to time has changed, if you have slowed, slowed things down internally. And then if you want to start moving again, if, you, if you're going to wake up and do things now, stay, stay with a very slow pace as you start to move. And if it feels helpful to stay connected to your deep in-breaths and long out-breaths, you can continue to play with that too. If you want to, to slowly make your way back to sitting upright, or if, you know, Ultimately, if you're resting at home, you can stay and have an extra half hour of Shavasana if you want. That is always the possibility of doing yoga at home, which is awesome. So thank you for joining me this evening and slowing everything down. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or your evening. <laughs>